You could think it's too expensive. But a renowned dietitian claims that organic food is actually worthwhile to spend money on. Professor Tim Spector of King's College London said that he had previously dismissed organic labels, which indicate that items were produced without the use of pesticides or other chemicals, as little more than clever marketing gimmicks. In 2012, a comprehensive evaluation of 200 trials revealed organic food provided no additional nutritional advantages. Professor Spector, a co-founder of the health and diet company Zoe and the author of three books on nutrition, asserted that there is more to the tale and has subsequently revised his view. He cited a research from the British Journal of Nutrition published in 2014 that showed organic vegetables contains more polyphenols than non-organic counterparts. An organic antioxidant called polyphenols works to reduce inflammation in the body, which has been related to a number of health issues. Professor Spector discussed polyphenols as compounds that help plants naturally defend themselves against pests and the elements on the Zoe Science and Nutrition podcast. Furthermore, non-organic fruit and vegetables don't generate as much polyphenols since producers must rely on chemicals like pesticides to safeguard them. He stated, it turns out the organic ones raised in our kind of conventional ways have more. All of our food has been formulated to promote weight gain, size, and good looks. However, if you examine the specifics, you'll discover that you're really receiving fewer of the necessities. Professor Spector stated in an interview with Zoe CEO Jonathan Wolf that levels of chemicals like pesticides and herbicides in food are monitored to make sure they don't directly cause cancer. But he asserted that the issue is if the drugs might gradually worsen our health. According to Professor Spector, Few research on people have taken into account the potential long-term harm that such compounds can do to the body. But while being far from conclusive, these few studies have shakily connected them to severe health issues including cancer, infertility, and ADHD. According to Mr. Wolf, Purchasing organic food may be really expensive, and not everyone has the means to do so. However, according to Professor Spector, eating organically doesn't have to break the money, and there are more economical alternatives for individuals to do so. He advised customers to choose only a few organic items from their normal grocery store or to purchase organic hand and frozen food as a less expensive option because it won't spoil as rapidly as fresh food. Additionally, Professor Spector stated that the one item he personally wouldn't forego buying was organic tomatoes because he consumes them every day. But Professor Spector also identified the non-organic fruit customers should stay away from for those who are still hesitant to make the transition. He advised avoiding oat-based breakfast cereals at all costs owing to their high amounts of chemical ingredients. According to him, Oats are frequently planted in wet regions and treated with synthetic herbicides like glyphosate before harvest in order to dry out. Additionally, they absorb all of the glyphosate since they are moist. They thus have amounts that are 5 to 10 times higher than many other cereals, he continued.
Professor Spector said that there are techniques to somewhat improve non-organic meals at home. Although washing helps, it doesn't bring it down to levels that are close to being organic, he claimed. He suggested peeling the produce instead, or adding baking soda to get rid of any possibly dangerous compounds.